everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here I'm Emily I'm a mom who loves home decor thrifting and a good DIY project today we are doing a come thrift with me I'm very excited to go thrifting see what I can find I'm kind of wanting to look in the home decor section I've always loved thrifting home decor it's one of my favorite things so well we're gonna look through everything but I definitely want to look through the home decor before we really jump into things if you're not already feel free to follow me on Instagram at emilyfaith22 give this video a thumbs up subscribe all the nice things that help out me and my channel before we go to the thrift store I want to tell you a little bit about today's video sponsor and that is Anna Luisa jewelry I've worked with them in the past I love them I love their pieces some of the things I love about Anna Luisa is that their pieces are incredibly long-lasting I've had some for I think over a year more now they are such a wonderful quality they're made with the best noble metals and do have a 365 day warranty they also have really fair prices with no luxury markups their pricing starts at $39 so I feel like there's something for everyone another wonderful thing about them is that they make limited batches of all of their jewelry this ensures the highest production standard while also eliminating excess waste Anna Luisa has a summer sale going on right now it is 20% off everything in their site you can follow the link down in the description box no code needed just click the link in the description box head over to their website and everything is 20% off now that you guys know about their summer sale I do want to show you the cute pieces that I got the first being this adorable and so sweet this little butterfly necklace how beautiful is that i love a good kind of delicate necklace that just adds that little something but isn't a huge statement so i feel like this little butterfly so sweet so cute can wear with anything you can almost like live in something like this because it's so light it really goes with every outfit the next thing that i got is this chloe ring it's just this braided design really simple and beautiful gold ring i love a fun ring and i love a gold ring and this was such a little sweet one i'm loving this one you really can't go wrong with a sweet gold ring with a fun detail so cute and the last thing that i grabbed are these michelle earrings i'll try to come in close for you guys these michelle earrings look how beautiful these are they have this little like pendant plus the hoop so cute I feel like these are a little bit more bold than maybe a usual day-to-day -day earring but I think these are so fun these are cute on a date night these are just cute anytime like you can just wear this all day these are so great so don't forget to check out the link in the description box for 20% off site-wide for Anna Luisa's summer sale Okay, are you guys ready to head to the thrift store? Let's go. Of course, I have to start by looking at all the vases. I'm always kind of looking for good shapes to see what I could upcycle. I mean, if you find a gem that's perfect the way it is, that's awesome. But I'm definitely always looking for good shapes and something I'm drawn to because it's really fun and easy to upcycle a vase. I really love this one. I always love a fun handle. I really loved these two matching ones. I didn't need them, but as I'm watching this back, I kind of regret not getting them because I could have upcycled them. This was kind of an interesting little basket. Comment down below if you know what this is for but I thought it was really cute. It was a little bit faded, so I didn't get it, and I don't, <laughs> didn't know what I would use it for, but it was cute. Love this bowl, this rattan, and the black. I really like this. checking out the lamps I'm actually looking for a lamp not the shade but kind of the wire that holds it up I'm looking for a really short one of those a weird thing to look for but I have this lamp that needs a shorter I don't know what it's called <laughs> a shorter part <laughs> This 
was this fun little marble heavy duty circle. It was probably used for a candle. I was trying to think how I could, you know, DIY this, but I didn't come up with anything, so I left it. <laughs> Pretty sure for as long as I've been thrifting, I've always been obsessed with baskets and we have a pretty good basket section at our thrift store. I was immediately drawn to this one up here with this handle. I thought it was such a fun shape. It does have a little hole, but I feel like it's not that big of a deal. So I bought this little grocery cart for my kids and I want to change out the fabric. So I'm on the hunt for some cute fabric, but I didn't find any on this thrift trip. fun on that thrift trip. I don't know if that was reflected in the video. I did a voiceover. I can't, I just can't get over. I don't like talking in the thrift stores, talking and filming, but for quite a few months now, ever since I upgraded from filming on my phone to filming on a legit camera, I've been taking the camera to the thrift store and I felt very limited with filming. I don't know, maybe it's just like pulling out like a heavy duty camera. It's, it's harder and I, I don't have anybody come with me and film. It's always just me. So this thrift trip I filmed on my phone and I think I'm gonna go back to filming my thrift trip actually at the thrift store on my phone. I felt so much more freedom to film and kind of really take you along on the things that I'm liking and seeing. Let me know if you guys kind of liked that better even though the quality isn't as good. I felt so much more freedom filming on my phone. We're home and I want to show you guys what I got. The first thing that I got is this awesome basket. Now I think this basket is, this is so fun. This is so multi-purposeful. Is that the word? I, I use that word a lot. I hope that's a word. But this would be great like as a magazine. Who has magazines? But as like a book storage in your living room or I wanted this for my kids rooms I thought this was so cute I told my son he could put like his stuffed animals or toys in it so now he thinks it's like his little monkey that he loves his little monkeys like bed and he's just carrying it around the house <laughs> with his stuffed animals in it yeah but honestly like if we weren't using it as a stuffed animal bed you could totally use this in a living room throw little knickknacks in it. It's just cute on the floor. Oh, if I had a fireplace, you could kind of put this on the ground by the fireplace. You could put little logs in it. I mean, this is such a fun basket. I love this. The next thing that I got is this dress. So this is an express dress. God, it was expensive, but I, I don't even usually share th the price of things at thrift stores because it's so, it's just, honestly, it's like frustrating. Like, does anybody else just feel like that? I live in a really expensive thrift store area. But this dress was $14.99. I tried this on because I was like, I don't know if this is gonna work for me. I don't love strapless things. I feel like I talked about that in my last video. Like, I need a good bra. These type of things are hard. But with being pregnant, maybe I'll, I'll uh, insert a clip. Or something. I just liked it almost wearing it as a skirt. So because it's just a strapless thing, I can put a shirt over top of it super easily, tie it up. This is just this really beautiful white dress. It does have like a little bit of detailing and it's tiered. It's so cute. And with the bump, I liked it. Next thing I got, 
you know, I'm a mom. I can't not look for my children. I feel like I'm always at the thrift store. If they're not with me, then I'm looking for them. When they're with me, I look less for them. <laughs> and when they're not with me, I'm like, ooh, what can I get for my children? I found this Lion King look and find book, which Olin, my son, is really into the Lion King. This is so random about the Lion King, but he watches the... I don't know if you can even call it live action because it's technically not live action, but you know what I mean. The live action Lion King. He loves that one, but we start it after Mufasa's died because that's traumatizing for any kid. So we start at once Simba's run away and he pretty much only watches the movie and all he really knows is from when Simba runs away from home. Anyways, this one's so cute and there was no rips and like the most beautiful, vibrant colored, like search and find pages. So I was looking for Waldo or something like that. But when I found this, I was like, this is so fun. He's gonna love it. So, and he does love it. It's so great. So that was like a fun kids book find. The next thing I got is this very heavy bowl situation. <laughs> It does, it does need some like glue. I might take some hot glue and like hot glue down these sort of breaking spots. But other than that, it was in really good condition. It is missing one of the straps. But other than that, it like, it's in really good condition. It's heavy duty. It was $6.99. I don't know where it's from or anything, but this is such a fun like coffee table bowl or just for me like my dining table we have a round table so it's kind of nice to have something like this it's low profile i loved the like black and sort of do we want to call this like rattan or bamboo vibes i just thought it was cool i thought it was a cool bowl i almost passed it up i need to give it a little clean i haven't really cleaned it yet or anything but yeah super cool and nothing that a little hot glue can't fix up. And last, but certainly not least, I grabbed this fun vase pitcher. I feel like I'm always grabbing, always getting vases and pitchers. But I think I wanna DIY this one, so I, I don't mind like the cream, and I don't even really mind this little stripe. But it feels like I feel like somebody, some of you guys are going to love this. Like you're going to love the stripe. You're going to love the whole thing exactly as it is. But to me, it just felt a little bit outdated. So I do want to upcycle this one. I loved the little handle. I actually, sometimes I buy vases. I buy them obviously like for flowers and things. But I feel like my vases are always really wide. And sometimes it's nice to have something that's like a little bit smaller like this that will keep your flowers kind of together. Does that make sense? I have some like wide vases and if you get some, something like tulips and you're not you're not a florist who has like greenery and it's overflowing I feel like you just have a couple tulips and they're all like sad out the sides. Nowadays I feel like there is 10 million different ways to upcycle and DIY vases. You guys you've seen the one on my channel where you use um baking powder, I think. I know a lot of people use baking soda, but I swear to you, the original girl uses baking powder. But anyways, that's the whole trash to terracotta. Is that what it's called? So I have a video all about that. So you can obviously do the like baking powder method. You can do the whole like spray paint, rub some dirt on it, make it look antique. I don't know. There's a lot. That is everything. Thank you guys for coming along on my thrift trip and this little home decor haul. Also, thank you so much, Anna Luisa, for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to head to the link in the description box. They're having their 20% off summer sale going on right now, so head to that link in the description box. Thanks again, Anna Luisa, for partnering with me. If you guys enjoyed today's video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. As always, you can subscribe for more of my everyday life. Follow me on Instagram at emilyfaith22. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.